Hey folks, Micah McGee here. In today's video, I'm gonna take the advice of someone that recently commented and asked for deer bacon. This is the earliest I've ever got a deer. We had an early season in August and I'm gonna try to find a streak of lean and a streak of fat. All right, so I went back over to my neighbors and got in the cooler and I did my best to cut off some meat that looked like it could be made into bacon. This right here would be considered the brisket if it was a beef. It's got a pretty good little amount of fat on it, but it's only one streak. And then the rest is lean. And then I cut this from beside the back strap, really tied up against the back strap. I really don't think it's gonna be the best, but maybe. It's gonna be about like that. So anyway, I've got my salt here. I only cured one bacon in this since I used it. I'm gonna put me a layer of salt and I'm gonna stick my deer meat in. Throw me some more. Put the rest in. And then I'm just gonna completely submerge it like that. And I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator overnight because it's warm, it's warm. So in the morning, this will have plenty of salt cured into it. I'm gonna slice it and we'll see what it tastes like. This is deer bacon. Now you can grind deer meat and you can reconstructure it with seasoning and put some fat in it and put it in a loaf pan and bake it and slice it and they call that bacon. It's nothing more than sausage that's sliced like bacon. That's all it is. And it tastes good. I don't have anything against it, but I don't call it bacon unless it's got a streak of fat and a streak of lean. Let's do it. Hey, yo, man. We gonna have deer bacon this morning. Mm -hmm. Deer. Deer. You ever had deer bacon? Mm -hmm. You did? Mm -hmm. When? When you fish it. You're full of it as a constipated <laughs> turkey. I know you never had no deer bacon. So. Right, this is the next morning. I've got my meat out of the salt. I rinsed it off real good, washing all the excess salt off. And I patted it dry with paper towels. And now it's time to slice it with the good old Victorinox knife and see how this turns out. I have to say I'm a little skeptical about this piece it came off beside the tenderloin, beside the back strap, off the top of the rib cage. A little skeptical about that. I think that this piece here, which is the brisket piece, has potential. Potential. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to slice it up right quick and we'll throw it in the skillet. And we're going to try it out. just going to say I've always considered deer fat to be bad for pretty much anything internally because simply the fact it coats the roof of your mouth it feels like plastic it 
it hardens so quickly and I've always used it for hard fat instances like shoe shoe sealer. That's what I've always used it for. I've got a few of you guys on here that tell me I'm all wrong. They say ruminant fat, which is beef, sheep, deer, anything like that, has a, that ruminates, it has more than one stomach. That fat's the best thing on the planet for a human body to eat? Don't make sense to me. Seems like it would harden in the arteries. They say it don't happen. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna cling on to that hope while chewing on this fatty bacon. It only was in the salt overnight and half of the day yesterday, but it's a little too salty. I'm gonna show you how to cure that right now. Okay, here's what you do. If your bacon's too salty, don't throw it out. Just put it in water. We're gonna get it up to boiling. We're gonna boil it pretty good, but we're not going to boil it dry because all the salt goes right back in the meat. Once it boils for just a couple minutes, we're gonna dump the water out and brown it back up and it'll be good. All right, this bacon has been boiling in water for eh, five minutes or so. I'm gonna drain the water off of it sort of half-heartedly, but I'm gonna drain some water off of it and get it over here. Some is gonna drain off on this plate for me, but some of it's gonna actually go back into grease and we can't help that. I'm not gonna pat it dry. It can, it can fry out, but I've gotta get this meat back in that grease. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. And you just dump your water, get rid of it. And we'll just rebrown this. What are you doing? Oh no! Oh, mama's poor bush. What are you clapping for? She's gonna bust your rear end, you hit a rose bush. Oh, she's gonna whoop you, son. You're in deep doo doo now. You better get over here and just chew on some bacon for a while. Ball done it. Uh huh. Ball done it, Mary. Ball done it, Mary. Oh no, oh, he's no. in deep trouble now. Oh no. For the rest of the day, he's gonna be in the dog house. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, boys, let's yeah. eat. <laughs> He's all, he gloats a lot when he does wrong, I tell you. He's learning from the new generation. <laughs> oh, Dave jumped off that porch. He jumped off. Does that look like bacon to you? Yeah. It does? Does it look like bacon to you? Does that look like bacon to you? Well, I guess we get to see if it tastes like bacon. Oh, man, you're the bacon nader. Oh, he's going for the big one. Wow. Oh, he went for the big one. I feel sorry for you, sir. <laughs> Here. Uh, okay. That piece came off the back strap area. These short pieces came off the uh, brisket area. That's a brisket piece. All these short pieces are brisket pieces. That tastes down right good, don't it? That's the best. That's the best? You think the backstrap piece is the best? These long, the long pieces are backstrap pieces. Son, you eat that. You eat that. What's that you got? I got it in my mouth. Mm. See, here's a piece of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was too salty. I put it in water, then I refried it in the grease. Now it ain't too soft. <laughs> that is good. You're still gloating over that ball. Oh, it's tough. I should have been I should have been fake. You ought to play in the professional, son. <laughs> they just put a rose bush on the other side and you can hit it every time. <laughs> Here, have another piece. Every time. What is that? You know what? This deer fat ain't really leaving a lot of residue in my mouth. Are y'all getting that sticky residue? Mm -hmm. No. Me neither. 
Dave, you want another more? I ate the piece before I reboiled it in the water. It was tougher and it was saltier. I think putting it in the water also helped the tenderness of it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I never, I did not have expectations that it would be this good. What are you leaning up there for like an old man? Old man leaning up. Is it too tough for you, poor man? <laughs> It's from the back. I can sharpen them teeth for you. <laughs> they, they'll they pull out of your mouth and I can just take a file and file them. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm getting a little bit of that greasy residue on my lips, but it ain't bad. Back in the day, we rendered deer fat down and fried taters in it when I was just a kid. We never did that again. That, that was the awfulest mess you've ever seen. It just coat your mouth. It was awful. But this ain't awful. This is actually good. I'm amazed. It's actually got fat on it. I had to look pretty hard to find a piece of deer meat on it with fat. But good indeed. Matt, what did you think about it? Did you like it or not? Yep, I like You it. did like it. It's good. You like pork bacon better? Probably not. <laughs> so it's not that bad if it's probably a little bit. I was, I was thinking we were going to say, no, don't ever try this. But hey, try it. If you get you a deer that's got some fat on it, especially in that brisket area, slice that off, cure it. But actually, I was surprised how that backstrap piece, like Frank ate, good. was good too. So hey, Caleb's going in for another <laughs> round. Well, that turned out to be more successful than I thought. But that's all we've got for you today. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Now you leave that volleyball alone. That, one, that girl will <laughs> shoot you, sir. <laughs> volleyball. Leave me alone. Volleyball, baby. Do it me. <laughs> I don't make a home run. You try. Frank, home run is not volleyball, son. <laughs> home run is baseball, softball, son. You don't hit a home run with a with a volleyball, son. You got thorns sticking out of it. Oh no, he got thorns in the ball. Joe <laughs> popped the volleyball on the roof. He did.